and there are a lot of clubs for boys and for girls. So some of you might belong to a boy scouts or girl scouts, and that club teaches you to become a better person and encourages you to help other people as well. Some people might belong to a Bible club that help these people to learn how to better love and serve uh, Jesus and knowing uh, better the uh, Bible. So children and people have the opportunity to belong to different clubs or groups or we can call it organizations. And what we notice at, um, most about the clubs is that they have something that distinguishes the club itself. It can be a t-shirt or any other thing that really identifies the club and those who belong to that club in front of the people. So it is always good to belong to something. So as we hear in the Gospel today, the followers of Jesus belong to what they thought was a very special club. They were only 12 in that first group that followed Jesus. And they, they felt very good about being part of uh, that team, to be part of Jesus' team. And in Jesus' name, they healed sick people. And in Jesus' name, they uh, thought about the kingdom of God. So we hear the story today that one day the disciples saw someone who was not a member of their group doing good things in Jesus' name. So we might be thinking that the apostles would be happy to see other people doing good things. But as we heard in the gospel, they were not. The apostles told those people to stop what they were doing because they were not part of their special group. And then the disciples brought uh, Jesus. But the disciples thought that Jesus would be pleased and happy by their actions, but by what the disciples did. So they went and told Jesus what they had done. To the surprise that Jesus was not pleased, neither happy to what the disciples did. So we heard the answer from Jesus today. Don't stop people who are doing good things in my name. Even though they did not belong to the group, Jesus says to the disciples, don't stop people who are doing good in my name. And then Jesus added, no one who is doing good in my name will then turn around and say bad things about me. Anyone who is not against us is for us. So the first lesson that we can uh, get from the uh, gospel today is that it is always good to belong to something. It is always good to belong to a group. But it is especially, especially good to be part of the family of God. 
And I think this is what Jesus is trying to say to the apostles. It is always important to be part of the family of God. Trying to put in the mind of the apostles so that they can understand that the family of God is very large and that there are many different groups who made that family. So that is the point of the gospel as we wanted to take it when we think about groups or clubs. It's always good to belong to something but it's especially good to be open and to realize that the family of God is very large all over the world. And when somebody is doing good things, and more important yet, when somebody is doing good things in Jesus' name, so that person is also part of the family of God. So as we continue the Eucharist today, whenever we see anyone who is doing good in Jesus' name, we should be rejoicing and be glad because of that. So it is important today that we recognize that uh, sense of thanksgiving to God for being part of the family of God, but also to be open, open to welcome everybody that even though might be apart or different from us, can still be part of the family of God and can still do good things. Because whoever does good things, and even in Jesus' name, is part of the family. So let us continue the Eucharist as God invites us to open our sense of acceptance for all of us, for adults and for children, for young, and the old. Everybody is part of the family of God, regardless of whatever. And everyone who is doing good, it is also part of that huge family that we call the family of God. That is the point that Jesus wants his apostles to realize and understand. Whoever is doing good around us, whoever is doing good in the world, whoever is doing good in the community, whoever is doing good in the neighborhood, whoever is doing good in the city, is part of the family of God. Please rise and let us offer our prayers and intentions to the Father.
Lord, hear our prayer. For physical, emotional, and spiritual healing upon those who suffer in body, mind, and soul, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, trusting in your goodness, we offer our prayers. We humbly ask you to accept, to accept them. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. As we celebrate your mysteries, O oh Lord, with the observance that this year too, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us one day for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to be right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His re resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with angels and saints, we praise Him as without end we acclaim. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and everlasting covenant to be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim Jesus the mystery of faith. Peace I give you. 
Lord, none of our sins, but that the faith of your people gathered here this morning and graciously grant each one of them peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Let us pray. May your healing work, O oh Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to do what is right and good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may the loving God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We must send it go in peace. Amen. 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 Amen.